thousand people. Check it out. You ready? It's exciting. You ready? The Romance Bill. Come on, B. Let me see you. noticed a total difference in how the women and men responded. You ladies were like, oh, oh. My brother here in the orange shirt, you were like, oh. <laughs> That's the way I always want that in. <laughs> that was funny. Guys, you two guys were laughing at it. Oh, man. I bet the band was like, yo, man, let's do the next song. Okay, this song is called, You Should Have Done That At Home. <laughs> oh, boy. That was rough. Uh, my first guest tonight. Go, go. Hilarious and talented in their own right. And together, they formed Tyler Perry's The Single Moms Club. Please welcome Nia Long. Oh. Yes. Wendy McClendon. Oh. Amy Smart. Oh. Coco Brown. Oh. And July. Oh. single moms. Thank you. Whether they're acting or yeah. real life. You, you had real life to draw from, huh? I did. I did for a very long time. Mathai, um, who plays my son in the film, I'm so proud of him. Um, he and I, you know, that was my road dog. I was on a series in New York and I'd get up at five in the morning and I'd push that stroller down to the uh, preschool and then I'd run back to get in the van to go to work. So yeah. I have that firsthand experience. Yes. Now, now how did your son get in the movie. He, uh, I read the script. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I have a son in the okay. film the same age as my own son. So I called Tyler and I said, Tyler, what do you think about Mathai auditioning? Mm -hmm. He's like, that's great. So long story short, I called my old acting coach, Betty Bridges, who's amazing. Mm -hmm. I called my mom. I said, mom, take Mathai to see Betty, work with him. She put a, uh, his audition on her iPhone and we sent it over to Tyler and we waited and waited and waited. I was like, oh Lord, I'm gonna have to break the bad news. <laughs> I'll just get the job. And just when, you know, I thought it was all said and done, we got the call that he got the part. And I actually wanted it for selfish reasons because I really didn't want to leave him in LA while I was away shooting for four weeks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it worked out. It did work out. Why don't you give everyone a quick synopsis of what the movie is about, the things they might not get from the title. Okay, single moms who rule the world. Yes. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to argue with that. Mm -hmm. um, we all have kids that go to the same school. Our kids cause trouble, and as punishment for us, because parents always get punished, we have to throw a fundraiser together, and we form these unlikely friendships. Mm. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like you. Especially when her character is like you at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was worried about these two initially, but they made it happen. <laughs> now why? What happened initially? Well, you know, I mean, you know, come on now. My character working the Waffle House. You think I'm going to like her? <laughs> well, you know, we just, we, we, we kind of butt heads, you know, different backgrounds, like different like ideals. But we ended up, you know, really bonding over yeah. karaoke. So. Over karaoke. And a strip club. <laughs> and a strip club. Oh, yeah. And a strip club. Yeah. Coco got a mean strip. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I missed that. I, missed I that. deny anything that you may have seen. <laughs> you didn't shoot 
Yeah. No, I wanted to speak into said so bad because I heard you guys hired real strippers. Mm -hmm. Tyler got real strippers. Mm -hmm. I was like, why am I not working today? <laughs> <laughs> because you got to be with William Levy. Exactly. Right. So like, don't be yeah. yeah. <laughs> How selfish of me. Yes. Uh, Spe speaking of, of strippers, and I digress, I'm sorry, but um, Coco, I know you. Yeah. You've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. I've said, looked at teleprompter and said, Coco, without putting on the bridge, Zula, I said, Coco. Mm -hmm. And everybody in this building says, Coco. Today they say to me, uh, Coco's coming. Uh huh. Coco Brown's coming. I'm like, yes. what? But uh -huh. What's going on with your name? My name has always been Coca Brown. Uh huh. But people just want to take the A off and make it Coco. And I just got to the point that after a while I was like, what well, was my check right? I really don't know. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> everything and my agent was like we need to let people know what your real name is <laughs> so i'm like okay so i'm like let's coca you know so that's how it's pronounced and then you know it's a little issue too because it's a chick out here doing some things i wouldn't do and she yes. got coco brown yes and i've gotten some calls for her work and honey no I, I don't know anything about big booties part six i don't know <laughs> I've been telling, he's been saying your name right. He's been saying Cocoa in Spanish. Yes. I've been correcting him. I'm yes, like, it's Coco. I knew that that was always in his trailer. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That's all I allowed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, now, I, I'm here with you all right now. There's a great chemistry. Oh, yeah. Among you ladies. This sisterhood is real. Mm -hmm. So you all hung out and, and had good times after Tyler said cut. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. barely, I mean, it, the filming went by so fast. I remember at one point, Wendy and I looked at each other and go, we went, did we just make a movie? I mean, the, it is such a tight ship yeah. that I remember the first day I got to set, they were already working, and I was like, hi, I'm Mia. And Tyler's like, action. And we're like, OK, best friend. <laughs> we just go with it. And that's, don't yeah. you think that's what made it so great? Yeah, I mean, there were yeah. times he let the camera just roll. And I think we didn't, yeah. you know, we had forgotten we were mic and he was just letting it roll because we were just cackling like a bunch of hens. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what ended up in the movie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even what was on the script. It was us just talking to sisters. Well, the first day we started shooting, we were sitting there talking for like an hour over fake wine, but we were there talking, and then they said action like an hour later, but it was cool because we got to interact and hang out. <laughs> right. My wine was real. I don't know. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kids, but some of you have pets, oh, right? Yeah. You have pets? I do. I got three. Two yeah. dogs and a cat. Right. What? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a parent. Good. I, I am. I feel like a mother. And, and you've been married a long time? For two and a half years. Not that long. That's the Hollywood. I guess. Uh, I mean, you're not the right. I made it two years. Like, okay. <laughs> Oh, you, you're single now? I'm single now. So you live in the role. Yes, honey, I'm a single mama for real. It wasn't what I signed up for, but child, I'm so glad I got rid of him before this movie came out. Ah! <laughs> 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 was, was he the <laughs> jealous type? Because I, I, I've seen you slapping Terry Crews' head and... and you know, my ex-husband and Terry were around the same size. Oh. You know, but, you know, I, I never found the need to slap him. I guess he didn't instill that passion that Terry did. <laughs> if there's one thing, everybody's up. I just want to feel equal. A break. To know that everything's going to be okay. To know we made the right choices with our kids. Mm -hmm. We should start a support group for single mothers everywhere. Yeah, yeah. A toast to the single moms club. Yeah. Cheers to that. We're back with the women from Tyler Perry's The Single Moms Club. Uh, Tyler is very slick. Tyler Perry. <laughs> Uh, you know, because Is he here? Because no, he might he, fly out of the he, ceiling. He could come no, down. No, no, no. He makes you manifest. This is a man who casts you as his love interest. He ain't no fool. That's a genius right there. He's more than just a writer and a director. Boy, it's a genius. <laughs> the funny part is the kiss was never in the original script. 
See? The kids showed up when we got to set, so I guess you're right, Arsenio. Absolutely. <laughs> what he polite, though? Because some guys act crazy in a film kiss. Well, you know, he had very soft lips, <laughs> fresh breath. Yeah, I mean... the second one, the second one was fresh breath. Yeah, that's like, I mean... important. That's very important. It is. Extremely yes. important. You want good breath. Did he, yeah. did he get excited? Did he get a woody? translate that screen. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the acting bug, sir? Yeah, I guess. W well, would you like to do this for a living? Um, well, I really did this because I wanted to feel how my mom experienced what she does at work, so... It's kind of an extravagant take your son to work day. Yeah. <laughs> and I hear that when she would add lib, you would check her and say, hey, that's not the line. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to do. Pretty much. <laughs> well, you thought, she, Mommy, you're supposed to stick, stick to the page. Yeah, I was. I didn't know <laughs> that. Mr. Perry wrote something. She should say it. Yeah. And what, <laughs> and, and what did she say when you tried to check her and correct her? She was like, no, you, you can add things and make it like more realistic. Do you think you might want to act one day? Well, I really have a passion for baseball, and mm. I want to follow that dream. Cool. All right. You know where you are. Well, uh, this next gentleman that's going to come out here, um, he played a little baseball. He really played some football, and he's a co-star of the movie. We'll be right back when Terry Crews joins us. <laughs> indulge your every fantasy and love you too you I can't love you no more. Damn! I bought you some flowers. Boy, that's a 
a funeral wreath. That's because I lays it down. Right. We met the women in Tyler Perry's with Single Mom Club. Now let's add in a guy from the cast who has no problem being outnumbered like this. Please welcome my friend, the very funny Mr. Terry Crews. Oh, I just showed you. That's the kind of thing you want to look at to make you go to a movie. Yeah. There was something about that that made you smile and made you say, I gotta see that movie. <laughs> That's good work, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just honored. I am honored. Uh, first of all, no, let me tell you. To get the chance to work with Nia Law, y'all. Uh, first of all, superstar, superstar. What? There is not a finer better actress in Hollywood. Uh -huh. And Tyler Perry gave me the chance to work with all these beautiful women. Yes. Lied, Wendy, Coco, <laughs> Amy. I'm trying to say, listen, this is, this is, this is Fast and Furious for single mom. Uh, They're going to be at the end like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Now, Tyler Perry, I would have guessed that you had worked with him before, but you haven't. Never. Let me tell you, I was trying to get in a Tyler Perry movie forever. I was like, I'm going to be the only black man to never be in a Tyler Perry I used to see Tyler Perry movie posters and be driving by. I'm like, man, I could do that. Man, I, I'm better than him now. Come on now. And it was like, a, you know, he put out like three movies a year. And I'm like, man, when am I going to get the call? Okay? And finally. You know, and I would bump into, I would bump into Tyler all the time. I was like, man, come on, man, right now? Is it now? He's like, no, it ain't now, man. I'm like, man, come on. And finally I got the call, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. He said, we're coming out of Atlanta, we filming, you in the Nia Long's movie. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> No, and it, it was really, uh, you know, let me tell you something too. I married a single mom, mm -hmm. okay? I got this whole thing. When I met my wife, that little baby was six months old. Okay, we got married when she was two. Oh, and let me tell you something, you can't play with a single mother. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me take this you know, this love and commitment will finish it out. Mm -hmm. But if you try to just, well, it's unconditional love, we just gonna hang out, nah, 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 that ain't good enough. No. It's all commitment. I had to be committed to that family. Committed, it was an instant family. I was, yeah. I was 20, 20 years old at the time. Wow. We're going on 25 years. Yeah. I love it. She's a great lady. She is. I love your wife. I, I like to also call her my friend. I, I don't know if she slaps you in the head, though, when y'all... <laughs> no, no, no. We have to make some phone calls before that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, and really. I had to apologize to his wife. <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. I kind of jumped out of character. I was like, oh, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was, let me tell you, it, it, things were happening, okay? Uh, let, me, let me tell you, everybody, every man needs to get smacked on the back of the head at least once. Mm -hmm. Dude, you know, oh, yeah. I was, I, I'm, I'm alive. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, it was a beautiful scene. It was one of the best love scenes I've ever, was, yeah. ever oh, really You know what? Fellas, here's what's interesting about him also. She's slapping him on that bald head. A lot of women think bald head is sexy. Your wife thinks it's sexy, but you don't have to have a bald head like some men. I have a head, uh, I have all my hair. Yeah. I shave yeah, wow. every day wow. because my wife says, you know, baby, don't let the hair go. You look like Curious George. <laughs>
That's very cute. <laughs> Ladies, you like bald? Oh, I love bald. I like bald. Yeah. My man is bald. I, Michael I like Jordan it. started it. You know? Yeah, I got it. Well, yeah, wait, wait, wait. In all fairness, Lou Gossett. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Go back, back, go back. Go back. Get me. 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 to you on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. We got a Golden Globe Award. Um, first of all, it's just, it's, I am so honored to be on TV, y'all, because they, they basically give you half an episode, mm -hmm. you know, and they're ready to yank you. They're just looking for excuses, and she's got her hot show to go over, mm -hmm. the whole thing. And uh, listen, we on TV, y'all, <laughs> and it's very, very rare, and I don't look at it as something that's just supposed to happen. Okay, I, I am honored to get this chance to be on TV. I'm still here, and I thank God I'm still here. What can I say? Yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going to play a little game. We're going to try to make each other laugh in a very unique way. We'll be right back. Stand-up comedy from George Wallace.